I want a Shirley Temple in a fancy glass with two cherries and extra cherry juice. Uh, so, Michael, you said that you have a sister. Does she come much to the bar? Shirley? Is that your sister? Yes. Well then, yes. Your sister Shirley, does she come much to the bar? No. Okay, would you like to elaborate on that? <laughs> no, her lawyer told me that if I spoke of her any further, she was going to sue me. Okay, and why is that? Well, you have to understand, we had kind of a different childhood. So you mean, like she would go visit your aunt while you would go to the bar and drink with your uncle? I wasn't exactly drinking with my uncle. I was six years old. I was eating a lot of cherries. Okay, back to your sister. Okay, she was mean to me when we were kids. Kind of like you're being mean right now. I think it had to do with her being older, and, and she knew I liked to drink. I don't think she likes either of those things. Okay, well, why is that? Oh, I am about to get sued. Okay, here's the thing, Sarah. She was a pushy little girl, always wearing new clothes that my aunt bought her. So she acted like my aunt. Like she was always better than everyone. I probably acted more like my uncle. I'll say hi and speak to anyone. Kind of like when I started talking with you. There's really no reason I should have given you the time of day, but I did. And she just tried to push me around. Oh, I hated it. When she would go visit my aunt for the day and I would be with my uncle and come home later, she would say, what did you do all day? So I tell her. I hung out in the bar with my uncle Kenny and got to eat cherries out of his Mai Tai and talked to Mrs. O'Cleary about how she ordered alcohol and increased prices to make the profit and that I would crawl around on the floor of the O'Cleary Tiki Shack looking for nickels that I already knew would be on the floor and talked to elegant ladies of the afternoon who put flowers from Uncle Kenny's Mai Tais in their hair and then I played the Beatles on the jukebox all afternoon. Well, the next time my Aunt Norma would come over to Uncle Kenny's apartment to watch us while he was working, she'd tell my aunt I was always lying and making up stories. Okay, okay, Shirley, you jealous? So, Aunt Norma would tell me it was time for bedtime and she'd give me a glass of milk. Oh, but Aunt Norma always put whiskey in my milk. So I'd fall asleep and not wake up until the morning. Little did Shirley know, I also liked when Aunt Norma took care of us when Uncle Kenny was working because I liked the milk she made me. And I think Shirley was just jealous of me and knew my stories were true. And it was probably more fun to hang out with Uncle Kenny than Aunt Norma. But oh, she'd make me so mad. So one day, I cut the hair off of all the fancy dolls that my Aunt Norma gave her. And from that day on, I started calling my sister Dirty Shirley. <laughs> Dirty Shirley. Oh, well, she hated me and she hated that name. That made things really bad for many years. And when I was older and became a bartender, I told her there was actually a cocktail called the Dirty Shirley. Well, I don't think she liked it when I told her that. So I think Shirley still holds on to that a little bit. But hey, she forged a loan at her bank and she helped me move out of her house and buy a bar. So she must love me a little bit, right? Oh, I don't think I was supposed to say that. You'll cut that out, right? Happy birthday! Woo! Ooh, so excited! We just uh, wait for two more today. Um, oh no, I know it's just the two of us. What? Hold, hold on. Uh, I've had this sign on this table for two hours, and now there's like four of you. There's only two of you, and one of you is child. You know what? Jeez. It's okay. This isn't a you issue. This is a hostess issue. And I'll deal with it later. So, whose birthday is it? <laughs> it's her birthday. I was just here a couple weeks ago and had a lovely evening, and I thought I'd bring her here too. That's okay. That's awesome. <laughs> 
So, uh, are we gonna order anything, or are we just gonna continue to sit here and take up my table of profit? Okay. She wants something special. I want a Shirley Temple in a fancy glass with two cherries and extra cherry juice. I said I want a Shirley Temple in a fancy glass with two cherries and extra cherry juice. I said I want a Shirley Temple in a fancy glass with two cherries and extra cherry juice. Please. She would like a Shirley I got it! She's in a bad mood. So, here's another story. When my sister and I were still young, we would go to a Chinese restaurant with my Uncle Kenny at least two times a week for dinner. He couldn't cook, he, he wouldn't cook, and neither of us wanted to learn how. My sister, she would always order a Shirley Temple. She always thought that the red juice was cherry juice. Well, here's something interesting. Grenadine, which is the primary flavor of a Shirley Temple, isn't cherry juice. Grenadine is actually made with pomegranates. Oh. It's pomegranate juice. Oh, God. So, when I became a bartender, I told this to my sister. Well, she slugged me in the arm and said, I ruined her childhood memory. So, I asked her if she still had the dolls with the short haircuts, and then I called her Dirty Shirley. <laughs> well, that pissed her off. And cut. Is someone fact-checking this guy? Oh, I don't know. I'm so tired of this. I think I'm done. Let's get out of here. Michael, welcome to my bar, Barman's Aperitif. Here, you will always find cocktails and stories. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a cocktail that is very close to my heart, the Dirty Shirley. So, get your notebook, sharpen your pencils, and get ready to take some notes as I assemble the Dirty Shirley. Is she okay? She looks comatose. No, she's fine. I gave her a tranquilizer. Oh? What? Really? Yes, darling. I want to enjoy my day too. Okay. So, what did you get her for her birthday? A tranquilizer. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Shut up and sit down.